Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming. So we're going to do the OSCE review. We'll try to be sensitive to the time. So it's going to be a little bit quicker um, and just kind of hit some of the high points. And then we will have, um, I have started doing some videos where I'm just recording my hands. So I'm kind of excited about okay. those. So I'll send out those videos also. Um, so the first one we want to go over is the shoulder dystocia. And so you guys do have, you have to know the mnemonic. Um, but before any of that comes into play, whenever you're faced with a simulation scenario, I do want you to remember to drain the bladder. This is like a big deal when it comes to shoulder dystocia or postpartum hemorrhage. Basically, draining the bladder is like everything for every simulation that you could get. So start out if you have a simulation or in real life, like you should if you're in a delivery and it's been a little while, you should always drain the bladder on the patient. And then with the helper mnemonic, you go into that. And so this is the also um also, also helper mnemonic. So you want to call for help and you need to specify like who are the helpers that you're asking for. So in our, in your scenario, you know, you know, notify the attending, notify the laborist, the NICU, your different nurses, anesthesia. Um, and a lot of times in real life, a lot of that happens spontaneously, but you need to be thinking about who you would want to call. And then you want to evaluate the situation and explain it to the patient. You know, you, um, the baby's shoulders are stuck. I need you to listen to what I'm doing. Um, and then the next thing would be putting the legs back. The key with the legs back is that you're not like flaring them out like this, but instead you're putting them straight back like this. So when you have a shoulder dystocia, really the best thing you can do is take just a brief second, take your hands off, um, cause it is all geometry. So you're trying to get the baby to be in the right, like just change the trajectory a little bit. Cause if you keep pulling, um, you can um, get the baby into a more stuck position. So you have the legs back, and this all kind of happens simultaneous. So the head, the um, mom's head is, you know, obviously put down, like the, the head of the bed is put lowered. You make sure that the babe, that the mom is at the um, very edge of the table, at the edge of the bed, and then you do the, the legs back, and then you do super pubic pressure. This is a very specific pressure, so you do not want to be doing it too high. You really want to be going at it from very low. You're trying to adduct that baby shirt, shoulders in from the inside but you're trying to do it externally so this is also known as rubens one and so later on we have rubens two but you're just going into the mom's into the um vagina and trying to to do it internally and then um after that you enter the birth canal and then you're going to work on um and you're also um, evaluating for episiotomy at the same time and once again, this is a bony problem. This is not a soft tissue problem. So usually you don't need to cut episiotomy. And it's actually pretty shocking how many times um, you'll have a bad shoulder dystocia and then there's no perineal laceration. You're like, I can't believe that that happened. Um, and then you're gonna work on removing the posterior um, arm. So if you, I'm trying to think how to demonstrate this, but you, you put your hand in and then you sweep down and go along the long bone and then you're going to try to um, flex that to where then you remove this posterior arm and deliver that. And then from that, that, that relieves that impaction of the anterior shoulder on the bone. Um, and then you do your normal maneuvers. And that is, has been shown to be the most effective. Um, now there is a movement towards going towards the shoulder shrug. For the simulation, you're not gonna be expected to know that, but I would encourage you to go watch the video. And it's essentially, um, the combination of um, removal of the posterior arm and the wood screw. And we can go into more of that later. Um, and then make sure that you know your different maneuvers. So then the Rubens two is where you're just trying to adduct that anterior shoulder. And then the wood screw is where you're trying to do that. Um, the, you slide your fingers down and then you're trying to rotate that posterior shoulder. And then the reverse wood screw is like going on the anterior side of the shoulder while still doing your Rubens too and trying to rotate. And so really the whole purpose is just trying to dislodge this anterior shoulder from the, behind that anterior pubic symphysis. Um, okay. We'll move on next to the heart tones. Should I stop it? Right, so I'm going to tap into it. 